check this out. This is a green door. And I don't know, it's a dark room or something, but bam, new studio. So here's like a vocal booth. We got, you know, a much bigger area here. It's going to be awesome for recording drums and stuff. So pretty stoked. The live room is 30 by 18 roughly with 12 foot high ceilings. Spent about the last eight weeks converting this whole place into this studio. Literally, this booth wasn't even here. This is all, all this is new. So, we got like a full built vocal booth. There's a window going to the live room. It's uh, super dead. And uh, yeah, it should be really cool. But we're looking forward to actually recording in here now. Hopefully this video isn't giving anybody like a seizure. I'm not trying to spin around too fast or anything. It's still a work in progress, but you know, we're kind of getting it nailed down now. So this is the live room. It's going to be really cool. I'm stoked about the tones I'm going to be able to get in here with drums. Plus it's got the sweet hardwood floor that's not very noisy at all. It sounds great. And uh, yeah, so now I'm gonna take you to the fun room where I go, where I'm gonna spend all my time at. Ta-da! This is my new control room. So as you can see, we sound treated the hell out of this bad boy. Still have AC and everything. Here's the new control desk. It's an Argosy. Very stoked on that. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much all of this. I'm going to go ahead and switch over to my computer. And then we can kind of go through some questions. If anybody has any questions or anything, we'll be jumping to live over here now. All right, cool. Thanks. God, it's been probably eight weeks rob and i and a bunch of friends i'm gonna name all of them individually here because i want to make sure i thank them all and you know i didn't want to leave anybody out that helped with the build but i want to say a huge thanks to rob conahan my brother obviously jared eckenrode helped build the booth he was a huge help he put the window between the actual control room and the uh live room him and bill killed that they were all over that ryan mcveigh did some flooring in here so he helped out did the whole control room flooring gnr flooring represent so that's awesome and jeff Farr, huge thanks for coming in and helping me with my networking solutions he ran a bunch of cable for me and my headphone systems up and running great and Thank you so much. Paul Whitmer, I want to thank you for helping me with paint and paint decisions because I hate painting and it's probably my least favorite thing in the world. But I would like to thank Paul and Rick Martin also for helping me out, my drummer from Nungiven. He helped us out lugging a bunch of material and making some decisions and I really want to thank him. So... Rob, Jared, Ryan, Jeff, Paul, and Rick. Awesome job. We did it. We're finally here. We're open. And it feels really good to be done and get back to business of just actually recording and not spending all my time knee-deep in insulation and construction materials. So... That's pretty much what's been going on. Does anybody have any questions they want to ask before I log off? You can ask me, like, you know, what my favorite food is, how old I am, how much I weigh. Jeremy, this might be a good time for you to get involved in some questions because you had some doozies earlier. I may or may not do what you ask, but... Anyway, Dynamo Audio 2019, baby. We're finally done. We're up, ready to go. I got a 
few cool bands lined up to come into the studio. I'm not going to get into it right now, but I'm looking forward to getting back to work and tracking some drums in that sweet ass room. Thanks, Fran. That yeah, we all busted our ass to get this place going and what equipment am I using? Uh, that's a pretty broad question, but uh, making an honest effort to behave here. Oh, Jeremy. <laughs> well, you know, it's fine. You're, you're, you are who you are. But as far as equipment goes, Pro Tools, Focusrite Claret for my main source. My favorite color is navy, blue, somewhere in there. But I mostly wear black all the time. But if I had to pick like an actual color, it's probably blue. Oh, hey, Adam, what's up? I just see you just joined. Uh, oh, Antonio. Matt, what's up? Bill, Shane, Shirley. This mic uh, is bouncing and bobbing a little bit. Hopefully it still sounds pretty good over there. But basically that's it. I just wanted to get a nice video up at the studio and... I had a bunch of people tell me they couldn't find the live feed. Hopefully, it's going to be up and posted. You can go up, go onto my page and actually watch it again if you want to see the tour. I'm not going to bore everybody to death with all that, but heh, yeah. Who's a better vocalist, Lane or Chris? Well, I mean, as far as range goes, I would say Chris Cornell is a better vocalist, but I like Lane Staley's voice personally. So, I mean, it, it's a tough call, but they're both amazing. or well, we're amazing. Rest in peace. Tell the people my rates and availability. Well, here's a, this, that's an interesting story. What my rates and availability are is the best way to find this stuff out is you go to dynamoaudio.com. There's a quote form you can fill out letting me know what your project is and what you would like to do. Then I will get back to you in a timely manner with a quote explaining to you what your options are and what the price will be for your project. But as far as a one size fits all thing, I don't do that. We're doing a lot more with uh, customizing what we do to <laughs> customizing what we do so that everybody gets what they need and we can get, we can make everybody happy. Also, <clears throat> Now that we're completely opened, if you've been looking to do podcasts, please hit me up. I have a new website called Easy Podcast Recording, and it's easypodcastrecording.com. If you go on there, you can fill out a quote letting me know what you want to do. Fill out the quote form. I'll get back to you, and you just ha all you, basically you just come in. You sit down. I handle all the technical stuff, and you just focus on being you. And then I help you with information about how to post your podcast, how to promote it, what formats, what you should use. And eventually, if you're doing a thing by yourself and you don't have a need for a lot of people or a producer, if you come in and do a couple sessions with me and you don't want to pay for it forever, I can definitely coach you on how to do it yourself so that you don't need me down the road. But you know, we kind of have to build up a relationship before I'll just do that. So anyway, that's kind of what's going on for the next part of the year, the second half. And yeah, I say and a lot because I didn't script any of this. and I'm kind of just winging it. But uh, any other questions before we wrap up? I'm sure I'm boring everyone to death at this point with my uh, cool little bouncing ball mic. Last chance, and I'm logging off. All right, well, thank you all so much for joining me. I don't know what to do with my hands, so I'm just going to hold them up here while I talk. But, uh, yeah. What's the best face in war song ever? Epic. It's epic. They play it on the radio all the time. You got to check it out. It's the greatest faith in war song ever made. And, uh, yeah, so anyway, yeah, McPoyle's rule, Bill, definitely. If you didn't see the studio tour per portion of this video, you can always go back and watch it again on my page, 
There will be a link to it. It should be up there. So, all right. Thank you all for stopping by. And uh, I was going to do like the Ron Burgundy sign off, but I figured it'd be a little too abrasive. And uh, all right. See you guys later.